to netooze.com. In today's session, I'm going to create a server with WordPress CMS pre-installed ready to set up. Let's get started. If you haven't visited this platform before, it's netooze.com. And if you haven't got an account, it's very easy to sign up. You've got three routes. You can sign up directly with an email, enter your email address here and press register. You'll receive a confirmation email, which you click and then you'll be logged into the back end platform. Secondly, you can log in, register via Google, which is really easy. You literally click on this. It will authenticate, click on that button. It will authenticate you via your Google account. You enter your normal login details and it will redirect you to the back end platform. And the same goes for GitHub. If you've got a GitHub account, simply authenticate with GitHub, you log in with your normal login and username and password and it will log you into the Netflix back end platform. I'm already logged in, so I'm gonna go right across to my account. This is a test account. And you will note that there is some credit on this account already. If you haven't already added credit to uh, your account, you will need to do so before you can create a server. Um, so you can do that by clicking on refill balance, in which case you've got various options by paying via a bank card or PayPal. Um, you can also do it down here by clicking on finance. It will show you your um, balance cost, etc., and your you can refill the balance by clicking on this button. So there's two ways to do that. Um, okay, so let's get into this video. So I'm gonna create this new server now. Um, it's gonna be a VStack cloud server, um, which is uh, has really good performance. Um, and it's, it comes with SSDs, um, which are really quick. And also it's really quick to spin up the server so I'm just gonna stick with this uh, that server template the data center I'm gonna select the Neverland and I prefer to just pick from one of the fits plans it's easy I'm gonna pick this one $14.95 per month and I want the system to generate a login password to for, for the server and what we're going to do here under applications, as you see, there's a few applications here and the list is growing. We're simply going to click on WordPress CMS. If you need some guidance in relation to this, you can simply click on more. What that will do is open up another box, which will give you information about uh, what to do once WordPress, once the server has been, um, um, once, once it's ready and once uh, WordPress is ready to be set up. This is basically all the guidance guidance notes you will need to to um, get WordPress set up, ready for um, blogging or whatever you want to do. So um, yep. So I've clicked on WordPress, and if I navigate down, it's going to ask me how many servers do I want. I'm not going to worry about tags at the moment. I just want one server. And for the purpose of this, I'm going to call the server WP net ooze that's the name of our server let's go ahead and order that server so right now the server has been ordered and we're just waiting for the system to say that it is ready for us to proceed to set up WordPress so we're at 40% right now so I'll be back in just a moment once we're at 100%, but it shouldn't take too long. Here we are. Um, so our server, is ready um, as you can see upstairs up, up here it gives you the relevant details for example location of our server um, the template that we've used um, CPUs uh, 60 gigabyte SSD hard drive etc okay down here 
we've got our connection settings so you've got your IP address um, root login and your password there performance this will give you details the performance of the server hour to hour and the applications well this server has come with WordPress um, software installed so all we need to do is set this up go to settings you see the information there actions you've got the ability to produce snapshots you can recover set the finance history the cost per month for the server and you've got some more history over there so let's get WordPress set up so what we're going to want to do is click on this the IP address and we're going to go up to the top of our browser here and just input that and click return right so this is the WordPress setup page as I said the WordPress CMS has already been um, it's already on the server ready to be set up so this is part of the WordPress setup setup um, all we're gonna do is click continue well, I'm happy with the language I'm gonna select a title for the website so this NetBoost a username um, use something that you remember again I'm going to use netu the password I'm just going to use the one that's been generated here and the the um, email address I'm going to use this one here dean at netus.com we're all ready to go so let's do this let's install WordPress on our new server and we're all ready to go so um, if we click on this link here we'll redirect to our login page and I do believe this was the username and password let's see if that works for us and voila Welcome to WordPress. Word. So here we are, we've got a new server, WordPress, fresh copy of WordPress installed. Um, the only other thing to do here is to um, basically redirect your domain name to this IP address. So you can do that. So you basically redirect your, IP, your domain name using the um, DNS manager wherever you host your domain name and redirect to this IP address. Once you've done that, you can basically go into WordPress, go into settings, it's general, I think it's general. This is what, what you want to change. You want to change the WordPress URL and the site address to the one that you've redirected. Do make sure you redirect it because you haven't, you'd be locked out of this WordPress site. If, if I were going to basically do this, yeah, I would basically just do a check, check that everything is your 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 domain name has propagated, so it that means it's been redirected to this IP already. Um, yeah, so that was pretty quick, and yeah, I'm happy with that. And so yeah, we. That's the application we've got installed. Hope this was useful. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow our page for more guidance and um, helpful videos. And if there's something you want us to do in terms of installing any particular software, let us know and we'll do that for you and provide uh, the video. Okay, take care.